thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and today I was going to talk to you just a little bit about cross stitch. Um, I did want to say follow us on YouTube under Fat Quarter Shop, like us on Instagram, Facebook, and then if you have questions directly for me, join Kimberly Stitch Squad. I'm on there all the time. And I did want to say on Friday I'm going to have my regular live stream and I'm going to be showing how you can square up a quilt and how you can turn a mini quilt into a table runner. No, a tree skirt. So um, that's going to be Friday, but this week I thought I would just do cross stitch and talk a little bit about cross stitch and then we can. I'm going to take some feedback from you guys on what y'all want to see in the future. So. Just to talk about cross stitch a little bit, I learned when I was about nine or ten a lady named Severine Lackey, who is from the area I'm from. She moved recently. She taught me how to cross stitch, and I, when my cousin Ricky had his bait, oh, sorry, when he was born, I was nine, and I made him the littlest, tiniest panda cross stitch, and I saw it, you know, like ten years ago. It was horrible because um, I didn't know what I was doing but I mean I have a ton of stuff from when I was a little kid and I love cross stitch I've cross stitched a lot longer than I have um, quilted um, so I love cross stitch and so today I'm going to introduce you to some things we're doing with cross stitch at the Fat Quarter Shop and um, just kind of teach you a little bit about what I do and how I do it um, it's nothing earth shattering so first I'm going to tell you we obviously publish Lori Holtz patterns she loves cross stitch too so these are her first two. We've got Happy Farm Girl and Farm Girl Fall. They are based on um, blocks from Farm Girl Vintage and um, just inspired by that. She will be releasing more. We will have a Christmas cross stitch and then, um, you know, she's just gonna keep doing cute things. The first one is using um, eight of cloth, 14 count. Um, so this one is right here. I. I stitched this one. This one takes quite a bit of time because the stitches are smaller. And then she made Farm Girl Fall, which she used her vintage cloth, which is 10 count. So it's 10 squares. The way cross stitch works is if you have 14 count, it's 14 squares per inch. If you have 10 count, it's 10 squares per inch. Per inch. So this is great for beginners and it looks really um, great. We've got burlap, daisy, and there's another one that I put somewhere. Oh, it's right there. Can you hand me that one? Sorry. This one is oatmeal. Yeah. She's got three colors. I'm unorganized. So oatmeal is what she used on her pillow. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And then daisy is white and burlap is darker than oatmeal. So um, that is on her vintage cloth. And we have thread sets. If you like DMC, we have two different thread sets to go with each pattern. And I will be using RF Floss. Um, for Happy Farm Girl, we've got this set. And um, for Farm Girl Fall, we have this set. We are gonna have a set that has fewer spools like this one, but um, RF Phil has not shipped our order yet. So once that comes, we'll have a smaller set. But if you wanted to make both of them, all of the thread you need is in this. It's called B Basics Aura Floss Set. Um, and it's, I love it. I'm gonna show you how I use it because you can kind of keep everything neat. Um, it's easier to keep. So um, that's kind of what we have to stitch. Um, I prefer Bohen, I don't know how you say it. They're from France, Bohen needles. If you are stitching on like regular count, you can use any size needle. But if you're stitching on her vintage cloth, you need size 24. It has a bigger eye because she is using six strands of floss on this. And on this, she's only using two strands. So um, you can see these are bigger stitches. So you'll need this. And then one thing that I wanted to do to show you guys is um, this is her oatmeal back fabric. And so I did a little um, pumpkin on daisy fabric and then I just put it in a frame last night um, I couldn't find a frame that was bigger that looked good and I'm not exactly happy with it but I think my kids will like it so that's how the white looks if you want to do white so I'm gonna just kind of show you my tips on cross stitch and I'm gonna start stitching the first thing is um, I'm using her vintage cloth oatmeal and you can't the the ends will ravel on any kind of cloth, whether it's linen, Ada, vintage cloth, anything, it's gonna ravel. 
So um, I just got some tape. This is scotch masking tape. For, this is in my sewing room. Um, it's a little, it's pretty wide. It's about an inch, inch and a quarter. Um, it needs to be wide enough to enclose both sides. So I've already done that. I also ironed this. When this comes, it's it's got lines in it because it's packaged. So I ironed this um, because I don't want to have to iron it when I'm done because it will flatten your stitches. I prefer Q-snaps. This is how they look. We sell them in several sizes. The size that worked for both of both projects is 11 by 11. Um, that is what I, anytime, because I do a lot of cross stitch um, unrelated to the store. So this is how they work. There are off brands that I will say, and I do not like them because I tried them one time. One time I was desperate. I was out of town at like a dance convention, of course. Tried one and I really did not like the off brand. So um, I will say that. I don't remember what brand, but it did not work. So this is, you connect them together. You find the center of your fabric by just folding it. And I'm just gonna make a little crease so I can find it. Make sure I can see it. Okay, and then I'm gonna snap this on. Now this is vintage cloth. Um, it's a looser weave, so when I put this on, I wouldn't stretch it, and I'll show you what that means. So I put all these on. And you can tighten it by doing, you know, moving this, because it's vintage cloth, it's kind of big. I kind of don't really think you need it. Um, you don't need to tighten it. With Ada, I feel like you do need to tighten it, but with this cloth, I don't really think you do. And I'm just gonna kind of show you what I do in real life. So in real life, I have this little thing. It fits my lap perfectly. Um, it's just a little lap. I always wash my hands before I start. I have a little magnet board and it comes with little magnets. I've had this thing forever. I think the brand is Loran. And this is how I follow it. So I've got this. And I have been using, when I stitch, you know, my little pumpkin that I have here. I have been keeping, I have a little bag and I keep all my things in it. So my bow and needles, actually, I just have been keeping them right here on top putting everything in and then when I travel I've got this and this and I keep it in a pillowcase. So this is just a pillowcase for my house. Anytime I work with cross stitch I leave it in a pillowcase so that um, you know stuff won't get on it. So I've got that pillowcase so I'm just going to start. So she um, she recommends on Farm Girl Fall to use six strands of or a floss and if you're using DMC she suggests four strands because um, DMC is a little bit thicker so we're going to start in the center and you can just follow the guide and we've got a little symbol here if you turn it around we've got colors listed um, we we list um, colors for both our floss and DMC we also have instructions on how you can turn this into a pillow. Of course, you can turn this into anything you want, but she turned this into a, I think it's an 18 inch pillow. Let me look, 18 inch pillow, yeah. So she gives you the measurements, and then of course she used her uh, farm girl, or her, um, her fabric, and it is called, I don't even know. It's her fall yeah. fabric. Um, yeah. Yeah, Autumn Love. Yes, Lily saves the day. So yeah, so she used her Autumn Love fabric, which of course, like with Lori, everything matches. So to cross stitch, I am going to start in the center. I'm gonna just take a needle. And I, I'm using size 24 because it's got a bigger eye. I'm gonna start with the orange and I am going to unroll it. I usually go to my elbow and a little bit past just a tiny bit past my elbow. Um, I'm not gonna be using the loop method. I can show you guys that in another um, 
another thing, but this is how we're doing today. We've got six strands, and I'm going to be honest, I've never used six strands before, and so, you know, of course, I wanted to be prepared for you guys, so I made this um, just to try it out. So, there's no magic to threading this needle. You just thread it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I'm going to find the very center of my work. So we have dark lines and cross stitch patterns. This is a thing that they should all have is a dark line. So if you go to the center and you go three stitches over, you're going to start with your orange. Each square on here is a color, is a box. So you've got a square box on your fabric. You've got a square box here. You want to always do your stitches the same direction. So if you start and you go to the right, you want them all to start going to the right so that your X's don't have some on the top that are flip flops. So I'm going to show you kind of how that works. So I'm going to find my center, go three stitches over. Of course I can't see my, there it is. So you want to come through the back. I first go to the right so that's my first stitch on the back I am going to stitch over the leftover in the back I do like to keep my work neat so in the back I'm going to just follow that pull that in the back and I'm going to keep stitching and I'm going to just do it this way so you can see that they're all going the same direction you can see this cloth is really easy to work with a lot of popular cross stitch right now uses tiny um, stitches tiny Ada or linen cloth which is great I love all the stuff I have lots of cross stitch designers I love um, I love country cottage needleworks um, I love a uh, pumpkin frost Stitchery, I love all kinds of um, cross stitch. So I need to, if I'm looking at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to do nine stitches. And I, since I was doing it from the camera, missed a little spot, so I'm going to fix that. And then I'm going to show you how the back looks. So while I'm doing that, if you guys have any questions, um, send them in real quick so I can start answering on why I fixed my mistake which of course I'm always gonna have a mistake when I'm on camera uh, we had someone asking Sherry was asking what's the difference between R floss versus DMC thread so R floss um, they're just different manufacturers um, Lori thinks R floss that DMC is a little thinner um, I am not a fabric snob for cross stitch. I like um, Lori's pack that it has so many colors so that like I always do if I want to change colors when I'm sewing something I will. Um, so I prefer her pack because it has a couple of extra um, colors in it but it's just a different manufacturer. It's very similar. It's all embroidery floss. Uh, and Nico Patch Franz had asked what thread do you prefer to cross stitch? What thread are a floss? And I also like Cosmo. I like all of them. I like the hand dyed. Um, but yeah, I like our floss. Um, Sherry Umholtz was asking, are you going up or down? Well, right now I'm, I um, of course. Um, I, I'm going left to right, I guess is the way you would say it. But right now I'm having trouble threading my needle because I'm on camera and nervous. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to start from the other end. And Sherry Bing was asking, do you like Bend Creek designs? Uh, it's a little, I, I, I'm very familiar. Um, I'm sure they're a great company. They, uh, it's a little bit too primitive for me. Um, but I, you know, like their stuff. It wouldn't fit, like the decor wouldn't really fit in my house. Um, but yeah, they have cute stuff. Uh, Patrick and Crafts was asking, sorry, what do you mean by three stitches over? Okay, I'm gonna show you. So, 
Oh, three stitches over. Okay, I'll show you. Hold on. I feel like I should have got this started before we... So when you're looking at her pattern, I found the center from the crease, and then I just want to start three stitches over from the center so that um, I always, when I do my cross stitch, start in the center so that that I can go out. And this will have plenty of, um, the finished stitching size on this is nine inches. And um, the fabric, that we have is 18 inches. Um, Gigi was asking, does anyone have pre-printed designs? So that would be not counted cross stitch. That would be, um, it's, it's a different genre. Um, they sell that kind of stuff at Michael's. I don't, it's called stamped cross stitch is what it's called. Um, I have never done that. Um, I like things to be a little exact. So I'm going to kind of go do a couple stitches and then show you the back and how I like the back to look. And then hopefully I'll be in a groove. Susan's asking, is that frame heavy? No, it is not. Um, it's very light. It's basically PVC pipe. So it's basically, but not as thick. Like PVC pipe has that really big, um, it's heavy. It's it's basically that. Um, I would die to have a Lowry frame or Lowry. Um, I love those. I just don't. Um, I don't. I don't know. I just don't want to pay for it. Um, it's kind of one of those things where, just like with quilting, like you have to pick what you want to spend your money on. So, um, but I, yeah, I would. I love those. Um, I think they're awesome. Okay, so. This is how my first row looks. That's the half row. So you can see all my stitches are going from the left to the right, I guess. Bottom, left, top, right. And they're all going the same direction. And then on the back, I stitched over the tail that I had. And I've gone nine stitches by following the pattern. Now I'm going to cut the little tail off. And one thing that I do is I usually just put my little scraps in my little bag here because I usually do this while my daughter does dance convention or my boys do baseball. And so I will just, at the end of the night or whatever, throw away my threads that way. So I'm gonna double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm just gonna go back the other way. Usually when I stitch, I just kind of, I go one at a time. Sometimes people will pull up, go down at the same time. I think that gives you knots. So I do each stitch one at a time. And this is a great pattern if you are looking for something beginner. Um, but you can take any design from any designer and put it on Lori's vintage cloth. Um, And when I'm, so basically I was just going to see from you guys what you guys wanted to see, but I am going to just stitch a little bit today, let you see kind of what I'm doing, and then maybe if y'all want to stitch along with me, we can do a little section each week maybe to kind of do a little stitch along. So keep us all on track. You know, sometimes if you have somebody to sew with, it keeps you on track. Um, got more questions coming in. Uh, Julie Ann was asking, what do you have around the edge of your fabric? So what I have is Q-Snap, which this is how it comes packaged. It is um, by Yarn Tree. It's their brand. Um, it comes like this and you just connect it, um, but it's the brand that I like. So I've finished this row. Now I can either go up or down. I prefer to go down because if you start again, you're gonna be going back in the stitch you were in. So I'm gonna go under, I'm gonna just pull the row down and I've gotta sew one more row exactly the same. And I kinda of keep my magnet where I'm at. And so I'm just gonna keep stitching. Um, Marlene was asking, where can I purchase the frame? 
So you can get the frames at Fat Quarter Shop. They also sell them um, lots of places. I would love it if you bought it from the Fat Quarter Shop. But I will say buy Q-Snap. There is a brand out there that is um, not Q-Snap that I have tried. And it kind of messed up my project because the, the frame would not, like this comes off. Um, but if it, I could not get it off and so it kind of stretched my fabric so um, and some people don't use anything when they um, stitch so when my when my thread gets tangled I just kind of let it droop and then restart but yes I think that when Lori stitches Lori hold I don't think she uses a frame some people don't some people use those little embroidery hoops um, I've kind of used this forever. Alright, we have one more question. Um, Faith is asking when a pattern says one thread over two, does that mean I count two boxes up? Okay, so when it says one thread over two, that means you should use linen or even weave. Ada is one box. Linen means two. So if you were going to use Ada, you would use one box. One thread, one box. But if you buy linen or even weave, instead of it being one box, it'll be two. So you go over two. So 14 Ada is the same as 28 weight. 28 Ada is the same as four. No. 28 linen is the same as 14 Ada. So if you want to do over one box you just divide that number in half and buy that or if you want to try linen linen um, is what is super popular right now um, because it gives that um, kind of rustic rustic look um, I prefer Ada but um, I prefer the look of linen Ada's uh, I mean it is much easier to use. Um, Denise is asking, have you ever dyed your own Ada cloth? No. I have bought fabric from... Okay, so Pumpkin Frost Stitchery recommends a lady that sells it. And her... I think she's Stitch Plus, maybe? And so I have bought from her and it comes amazing and hers actually comes where the edge is already um, stitched down so you don't have to add the tape. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of those companies in any way. Um, but basically when I do cross stitch, I will use exactly what the pattern writer says to use, the cloth but like on this pattern I will change some locations of thread um, but I prefer to keep it pretty simple when the author asks for a pa for a fabric I'll keep that the same but I will stitch up I will change up the um, location like I'm this has red but when I make mine I'm gonna do aqua and you know I might I might change some of them just to be different um, I like to do that in my quilting, um, so it's something that you can have fun with. Um, we had another question. Um, Jennifer's asking, so go left to right for a row, then back over right yes. to left? Yes. So let me show you kind of how I'm doing this row, and I'm going to try to do it from the back so you can see, and I'm hopefully going the right way. Hopefully I've done this long enough. So yeah, you just go. And the back, this is how the back looks. I try to keep the back pretty neat. Um, just so that when you frame it, like I framed this last night, so it stays flat. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how I framed this. I went to Hobby Lobby. I really wanted a four by four frame and I couldn't find one and yesterday was Kevin's birthday so I didn't have time to go to Michael's because I was actually gonna go to a couple stores but it's been rainy and cold and I didn't want to be late to his birthday and gotta get cake and gotta get gifts and all that so um, so after all that this is what I did I took it home and 
I took some soft and stable, which we sell. You could just get, um, I didn't want to do cardboard. I wanted to do a fabric. So you can do like maybe a polyester batting, but soft and stable, you see that it doesn't, um, it doesn't flop. And I went to, I basically cut it. This is three inch square. So I cut it, you know, I use like my four and a half inch square and just cut it. And then I went to my sewing machine and you can see these little stitches on the edge. You can barely see them. I stitched those down so it would stay in place. And then I used uh, stitch witchery on the back. I learned of that product from Barb and Mary and I put that in and just ironed each side down. And then just put it in my little frame. Um, and then this, you know, this little thing came with it and just put it in there. So, um, you know, and this is like a day project, but this would be a cute Christmas gift. Um, I mean, maybe not that pumpkin, but you know, like if you have somebody, they're cute little gifts. Like that's like a cute teacher gift that doesn't cost very much. Um, I think it's cute. So, so yeah, so I'm just going to keep going. And I've done three rows that are the same, and the next row says to go down one. So I want to start here and go over and just keep going. Um, cross stitch is a great thing to take with you. Um, like you, like I said, you know, for my daughter's dance, uh, my son's baseball. Um, my older sons are now in kid pitch, which I don't know anything about sports. I'm like embarrassing. Like I just don't even ask questions because Kevin makes fun of me so much. Um, they're in kid pitch, which means those games take like three hours. My kids are barely on the field because the kid pitch just takes forever. Um, so I have a lot of downtime where my kids, you know, if my kids are on the field, I do um, watch. But if they're not on the field, I have a hard time sitting somewhere for three hours and just doing nothing so if I don't have binding I will take this so um, are any of you guys gonna be sewing the farm girl fall do y'all want to have like a sew along where like every Wednesday I can um, maybe sew along with you guys or I don't know some of you guys have asked for cross stitch for a long time um, but I know some of you are like I don't want to do that I'm into quilting so I have no idea like what the interest level is out there um, for this stuff, but I will say when I'm sewing it, I'm going to be changing up some colors so that you guys have options. And I'm almost done with this. Um, this row so that I can show you how you can end and then I'll start again. Um, Julie was asking, does fabric come with the edges finished like you have? They don't. So I have this at home. This is called masking tape. It is a little bit thicker than washi tape. I would use washi tape, but the washi tape that we sell and that I have at home is not as wide. Um, most people, though, don't do this. Most people use their sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch around the edge. Um, I just don't because I'm lazy on that. I don't want to get my sewing machine out and do all that. Okay, I just remembered the name. Somebody had asked about hand-dyed fabric. Picture This Plus is the name of uh, that, that place that sells that. Um, they have a ton of colors. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Um, it is very expensive, but y'all asked. Um, but it is expensive, so I know that's going to be y'all's next comment is like, I don't want to pay for that. Um, so yeah, so she does hand dyed. I have never hand dyed cross stitch fabric. I've actually never hand dyed regular fabric. I have messed up paint before in my house. I'm not good at that kind of stuff like paint, paint, dyeing, any of that stuff. Like that's not, yeah, that's not, um, that's not something I'm good at. I'm very like OCD and I like things perfect. So, um, I will say with this, it looks, um, the thing I like about her fabric is it has like a modeled look, which I actually didn't realize until she sent me the pillow. Um, it kind of has a hand dyed look, but it's not hand dyed and it's a very affordable price. Um, that's one thing about cross stitch is um, really it's not an expensive hobby if you get the thread because I, 
I'm not going to just use this thread for this project. I'm going to keep it. And you can use it until the spools are done. And then when the spools are done, you can like decorate with them in your house. Um, but, the, but the fabric is what can be really expensive sometimes. Um, so I like that Lori's fabric is, um, I like that you can do these really, like you can do this whole big project. It's nine inches. I could probably finish this in a week. Um, if I just did a little bit every day. Um, uh, so, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, Lydia is asking, do you ever use Thread Heaven when cross stitch? So I have actually never used that. I know one of the companies went out of business last year. They didn't want to sell it because I had so many people devastated in the quilting world and so I actually wanted to try to buy the company or at least like figure out something and they said no we are done we just want to walk away from the company I, e I emailed with them they have a patented product they did not want to give it out they were done they were walking away so I've never used it um, I am going to show you how you end so I don't like to go all the way to the very end because then you get real tight stitches so I'm at the end and I'm going to take my needle and go through s some stitches. This may be like six or seven stitches. And then I'm, I'm not going to pull it really tight, but I am going to look at the front and just make sure that there's not a gap on the front because sometimes it can be a little loose, but you don't want to pull it too tight. It looks good. Then I'm going to clip it and I'm going to start over. Um, one thing about the Thread Heaven thing is I'm a creature of habit. It's a really um, good trait to have and also a really bad trait to ha have. So once I try a product like these scissors, I've used these scissors forever, I really just don't switch. So if I find something I like and I've never had a problem with it, I don't really try other things. Um, like some people use certain hand lotions when they stitch, I don't do that. Okay, so now I've got to start again. You can either start the same way I did, or you can start by already having your thread in your piece. So, I'm going to go through the back again. I'm not going to go where I was before. I'm just going to go on the row above it, just so it doesn't get too thick. I don't want anything... If you don't keep it flat, you'll see it when it's done. You'll see like a pucker or something, or, you know, if it's if you have knots in the back or something, it would not be flat like this, like, like ours. So I'm just going to pull it through. Again, there's no knot. I'm just pulling it through. And then I'm going to start stitching. And I'm not going to pull too tight. I'm just going to start. And then just, oops, see? I pulled too tight. So I probably just need to do this in my lap so I don't do that again. Um, but yeah, I never do knots. Um, I also do not like to do back stitches and I do not like to do French knots so I tend to find designs where that is not needed um, I don't feel like my French knots are very good um, like if there's one or two that's great if there's a lot I'm not doing that project so it's kind of like quilting you know you just you got to find what you like um, what designers you like kind of what you want to work with. And so, you know, I just keep going and you can't even tell that I changed stitches. And on the back, it just looks like this. Um, cross stitching is very easy. It's a stress reliever. Um, like I said, it's, um, it's not a very expensive hobby. Um, we've had a few people tuning in late and asking like where can you get the products? How do you start the cross stitch? Um, and we can just remind them that this video will be posted later. Okay, so the video will be posted later But we have two new cross stitch patterns. One is called happy farm girl and one is called farm girl fall They're both available at the fat quarter shop We are trying to get them distributed to your cross stitch stores and we will be sending patterns out to cross stitch stores And some bloggers to review so that we can get them in the hands of, of everyone um, but these are the two we have. Everything is available on Fat Quarter Shop, and we have some links below. 
that you can click on and it has can take you exactly to what you want um, if you click below on the link below we've got thread we've got um, Q snaps which is this and um, just show again like how I stitch from left to right um, if you'll have any other questions if y'all have any designers you guys like um, Let's see, we had a lot of people that said they were interested in doing a stitch along. Okay. So I think we'll just do that every Wednesday, and I think what I'll do is I will finish the pumpkin. I'm going to change the pink. The pink that I'm going to use is 2435. So I'm going to do a little, no, I'm not going to use pink. I'm going to use aqua. I'm going to use 5006 when I finish it so that it looks like this. And then over the weekend, I might go ahead and put in all the brown. Go ahead and get that done. And then each week we can do a little piece and you can ask questions or like if you're having trouble um, with your cross stitch or anything, I can um, try to answer your questions. Cool. Um, we had a few more questions on here. Um, someone was asking if there is a kit that has the pattern thread and the cloth. There's not. And the reason why is because we want you to be able to pick. So you've got the vintage cloth. You can do any color. Um, oatmeal is what she used. So you would pick that. We have uh, thread sets in both DMC and RF floss. So you can pick that. And then you can pick the pattern you want. And so we've got a link below to Lori Holt's cross stitch. They're all on there. And that's why we didn't do the kits is because cross stitch has so many options that we want you to get exactly what you want. Um, like I like the daisy also. So that's why I did the daisy on this just to kind of show you that. Um, I can show you when I pull it out how the white looks if you wanted to try white. Um, that's kind of how it looks on white. Um, white matches my house really well, so um, lots of options. And Teresa was asking, what would you recommend for someone as a first project if they wanted to start cross stitch? I think this Farm Girl Fall is super easy. The cloth is fewer stitches per inch. It is very um, beginner friendly and it's also going to be very fulfilling because you can finish something pretty fast. Um, this took me a really, really, really long time. Um, so this one would be, it's not hard, it just is more time consuming. And I always feel like as a beginner, you should start with something that you can start and stop easily so that you don't get frustrated. So I think the Farm Girl Fall would be great. And even if you, you know, if you bought it and you made one pumpkin and you were like, oh, I don't like this, this sucks. I don't wanna do this, I don't, it's not for me. You can just like frame it. This was like $7 at Hobby Lobby. You know, you don't have to finish it. It's just like with quilting, kind of like um, when I do the live streams on Friday and I do a lot of table runners. I do it because I can start and finish it. I don't have time to make a million quilts because I'm not home that much. Um, I'm basically a taxi. I fill up my car with gas two to three times a week. Basically, I just take my kids everywhere they need to go, and they're just like, yeah, bye, Mom. You know, I just drive them everywhere. I'm not home much. So, you know, it's good to find something that fits your lifestyle, whatever that is. Um, I love Country Cottage Needleworks. They have super complicated stuff. I also do those, but I'm realistic. It's going to take me a long time, and I can't put deadlines on those because sometimes I never finish them. Uh, we've had a few people commenting saying that uh, cross stitch tends to be a challenge for older eyes. Uh, do you have any suggestions to help? So um, I do. The um, I agree. I wear bifocals and I have got the worst eyesight. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I cannot see my phone. So I would say that we sell something. I've never used it. It's by Loran, L-O-R-A-N, and it's a... Um, magnifier I should have brought it but you can put it on top of here and you can see it and if you're older I would work on Ada which is easier than linen um, because it's one stitch instead of it's over one instead of over two and um, just buy you know you can tell you can just maybe 
put it on bigger cloth or something. Um, but I, I do have really bad eyesight. Um, so I get it. I am totally with you there. Okay. Um, have lots of light. Somebody recommended on Instagram also helps. Um, and then Denise was saying, do you have additional patterns or books available for plastic? Not yet. We're just kind of getting into the market, trying to get, um, our name out there, uh, with this to see how it goes. Um, it, you know, these patterns go great with Lori Holt's, um, farm girl vintage book. Um, so yeah, but we are hoping to have more. We're going to have a Christmas one before the end of the year. And, um, just kind of see how it goes. We also sell Co Cosmo thread. Um, we have sold that for years. It is used a lot for embroidery and um, that's a great floss to use. It is more expensive. It is really nice. Um, it is wonderful to work with. Last Friday's, li last I think it was last Friday's live stream, I showed y'all a aqua typewriter that I had made and I looked it up later. It was by Tiny Modernist and on her site it's in pink but I converted that of course like I always do changed it and I used Cosmo floss aqua because they actually Cosmo has much better um, aqua floss than DMC um, DMC has a lot of colors but they don't always have the uh, maybe the shade you know this is like the perfect aqua and um, I feel like this aqua is a lot better than the, the DMC so, uh, let's see, Selena's asking, do you use Heaven Thread Conditioner? No, so that was what somebody asked earlier. I don't, um, I don't use anything. Uh, I think people use those for thread knotting and I don't usually have an issue. Usually, kind of what I'll do if I'm having an issue is I'll just let it hang and kind of do this. I don't, um, Uh, Faith was saying, wait, which days do you live stream? Okay, so I live stream on Friday mornings, uh, but on Wednesdays, I'm going to start doing this little cross-stitch live stream. I'll do a couple, see if you like them, and then if y'all like them, I can keep going. If you don't like them, we don't have to do them. Um, <laughs> Some people are saying, uh, that their eyesight would not let them do it as easy and fast as you are. Oh. Well, I have on bifocals, so um, I definitely, if I did not have my glasses on, there would be no way. Oh, and some people have been asking, there's a cover image on this video, and they're asking what quilt it is. Um, we can link it in the comments later. This one? It's not this quilt, it's something else. Um, it might have been the perfect 10 quilt. Yeah, it's just a cover image from... I think last week's live stream that's still on there. Yeah, so right now we have a quilt along that you can find all the information on our blog. We have a brand new book called Perfect 10. It has a book and a ruler to go with it. The book has 16 quilts for only $14.95, so it's less than a dollar a pattern. And um, we are having a sew along, which is an extra added bonus from Fat Quarter Shop. We have put together some PDFs that we're releasing every Tuesday on our blog and you just follow the book and you have kind of like a sampler quilt. And so on Friday's live stream, I, I will be showing that quilt, different blocks. I lo have loved seeing all of the blocks on Instagram and in my um, Kimberly Stitch Squad. I love like everybody has like different looks. I love that, that it's, you know, something that everyone can um, do and make it their own style, which is what I always like try to talk to you guys about is like, doing your own thing. Pick what you like. Um, I've had some of you guys ask me if you think this background would work or this background would work. And so we've gotten back to y'all. Um, if y'all ask me on Facebook, we usually color match. And then I have someone email you back. Um, so all that information is on our blog, The Jolly Jabber, or you can get it from just going to Fat Quarter Shop. And on the top right, there's a link to our blog. Um... We've got lots of people saying thank you for doing cross stitch. It's helpful. Um, and Sherry was asking, what is the quilt behind you? So the quilt behind me is from, it is Martingale. It's a Martingale book called I Love Nine Patches. And I designed it. It is in that book. It is on the cover of that book. And I took 
a long time to make it. It is, the fabric is Gooseberry by Layla Boutique at Edmoda. Um, and it is just three different sizes of nine patches put together. Um, I, it's one of my favorite quilts. So we are now sitting in my office at work and my desk is like right over here. And so I get to see it every day. Um, of course I love aqua and pink. So I've got aqua on one wall and pink on the other. And my wall is pink, of course. Um, so yeah, it's from that book. It's one of my very favorite quilts. Um, it's in one of their compilation books. Um, a few people are asking, is there going to be a Christmas box? How there was a yes. Christmas box. Yes. Yep. And Marcy's asking, how many threads are you using? So we're using six. And it's because we're using 10 count cloth. Normally you would use two to three. On any cross stitch pattern, it will give you a note on um, how many to use. And if you use fewer, there's a loop method. Um, I don't think that would work great with this, um, but it is something that you could do. There is also some people will do, um, instead of doing all the way across and then all the way back, they will do a cross stitch one stitch at a time. If you, of course, I can't thread this because I'm talking. If you are ever working with hand dyed floss, you will do one stitch at a time because it will give you the look of variegation. So you would need to do one X at a time. Um, that's just a tip if you're ever using that. And I have tried working with the hand dye, I don't like it. It's too uneven for me. I just, um, I guess it's not for me. I I love the, the threads. I think they're amazing. I think that um, I just am so black and white. And so, you know, I guess it's too out of the box for me. Sometimes things can throw me a little bit. Um, somebody asked, what are you sitting on? Because on Instagram, I think we can see the little cushion you have. Oh my gosh. So I'm sitting on this pillow. It is old. It is a uh, flat and horrid, but it used to be big and fluffy, but my big butt. Uh, this, I did a little tutorial on our blog years ago, maybe two years ago. This is Mini Moo Fabric from Lucian. This is the Fab Five Ruler, I believe, by... Fab Five Ruler by Abby Lane Quilters. If the ruler is not the right name, I know that it is an Abby Lane ruler. And that pillow just took me a little bit, but there's a blog tutorial. It's probably three years old. I'm pretty tall. So um, just sitting on a chair, I, um, I usually need a little height, especially with my computer. I need to sit up a little bit. Um, yeah, we have a lot of people that are excited to start cross stitching. So we started at, let's see, 1040. So we've been doing this about 50 minutes. So this is about, you know, how much how time it takes. You could probably be a little quicker. I'm just running my mouth um, and I keep getting all flustered. But, um, but I mean, you know, probably take you three, four hours to do the little pumpkin and, um, I think we can have fun changing up colors. Um. Um, and one more question. Melody says, I love your top. Where did you get it? Uh, Talbots. Yeah, y'all ask the craziest stuff. And half the time, I don't know. But yeah, I got this at Talbots. It's several years old. Um, I'm super tall and I have super long arms. So I um, get a lot of my clothes at Talbot's, especially my pants, because most pants are not long enough for me. And I don't like my shirts to be super short because I'm 45, 44, 45. I don't want like my, you know, a lot of shirts now are super short. So um, yeah, that's where I go. <laughs> um, and some people are asking if we could see your office. I think we want to save that as like, yeah, we can do it. We can do it on another live stream. Uh, and I have a big cabinet kind of in our conference room that has a ton of quilts. Like, I don't know how many. 
I'm gonna do a live stream on that maybe in December that just I just pull quilts out and I can just try to remember where they're from and just kind of show you because that's kind of my collection of quilts is here um, so we can do that we I don't think we'll do it today um, but we can definitely do that in the future okay I'm gonna take one last question here from Liz and she says you're a wonderful quilter are you a great cook too oh okay so I cook amazing but I don't do it anymore because I don't have time I love to cook I am great at it but I don't have time uh, I will tell a funny story though I have twins and they are very different like when I say very different I mean like night and day nothing similar but they get along great and it's amazing they get along great and so one of my sons Peyton loves to watch the cooking channel he watches the same show over and over and I'm like we have watched this three times but he watches the cooking show so they had a little contest two nights ago I had to leave to go get Emma because she gets out of dance later and they had a contest and so Peyton said to Will no wait how did oh wait let me think about how it went Peyton made Will dinner so he went and got like macaroni and cheese and made it he had a whole, I missed all of this, of course. I hear about it later when I get home. They had a whole presentation. He presented him, he ate, and then when Will was done, Peyton cleaned it up. It was so amazing. So, um, yeah, that was funny. But, yeah, I can cook amazing. Uh, I love to cook. My favorite thing to cook would be, like, a fresh, uh, from scratch, spaghetti sauce. Um, I just can now only do so much. Uh, so, I can but I don't have time. All right, yeah, everyone's saying thank you for sharing and for being real. Um, I think it's a good time to, if you wanna start wrapping up. Okay, so I will say again, um, this is about how much I got done, just so you guys can see. I will be back next Wednesday. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish the pumpkin. I'll probably change the color. I will try to get as much of the brown done and we'll just see where we go next week. Uh, we will, I might even change that color to be a different color. Meh, maybe not. But anyway, I will be back next Wednesday just for a live stream. I would love for you guys, if you're going to stitch this, to share with me on Kimberly Stitch Squad or Instagram. And you can just hashtag Farm Girl Fall um, or Lori Holt Cross Stitch. I'll find it. Um, and then this Friday, I'm going to be doing a live stream from home. Can... Can I have that red quilt? I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna show you. So on Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time, I have made this quilt. I made this last week for you guys, and it is just a 24 inch quilt, and I am gonna show you how you can cut the center of it. And you can use this quilt, we have a quilt kit, but you can, you know, there are a ton of patterns out there. So if you have just a little small, how you can cut the center, cut down the side and it can become a tree skirt and I'm also going to show you how you square it up before we start and I'm going to show two inch two inch cut binding and I'm going to show you how you do the 120 degree angles how you do that binding so I will show you the 90 degree and 120 degrees so I hope that you guys will join me on um, Friday make sure to give us lots of love on social media and thanks for watching